Hello everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon Fell to Arms. In the previous episode, I forgot to upload one. No, I, I didn't forget, but I did do a big dumb. What I did is, I had my YV episode, and I recorded it, and then I had to edit it, and I forgot to delete the original, and so what I ended up doing, let's switch to save file real quick, what I ended up doing was seeing in my recordings the original file, I, I watched through a little bit of it and thought, Okay, I, I must have played two YV runs in a row. This was recorded a while back. And, yeah. So, I, that's what I thought happened. And so, I went ahead with that. And that was incorrect. Completely incorrect. And, uh, I accidentally uploaded the same video twice. So, a few of you probably noticed that happen. Uh, so, I do, um... I do massively apologize that we didn't have a proper Gungeon episode on the day that should have been one. At least you guys still got the podcast, though. At least that was still there for you. We do have some mod updates here. Let's get weird with it. Jump in. We're starting with Lewis. We seem to start with Lewis a lot. It's like the fourth time I've started with Lewis. And Table Tech Rage and the Budget Revolver. Um, stats are looking fan dabby dozy to be honest. Um, yeah. So if we take a look at our stats... Speed is insanely up, fire is up, spread is down, well, technically up, but it spreads worse. Our damage is really high, we have a little bit of extra coolness, uh, reload's good, clip size is good, boss damage is quite a bit down, which is the only major problem, and everything else is looking good. I am pretty happy with this run. Uh, yeah, the only major problem I can really foresee coming up here is boss damage, but that 1.45 damage, nearly a 50% damage up, most likely, from Lewis, for the most part, is going to be insane for us. For those of you that don't know, Lewis is um, an active item that just... He literally just takes up an active item slot. That is it. He doesn't do anything. Um, in terms of active, he just takes up an active item slot. But he gives you stats in return. He pays rent in the form of stats. So we're not getting absolutely nothing for having him here. Uh, he is he is paying rent in form of those stats. So that is a little nice of him at least. Uh, but it basically means that if we want to take another active item for whatever reason, we're probably going to be taking a heavy hit to a lot of our stats, which we really don't want. Also, can we talk about our absurd amount of HP that we've started with here? I'm guessing Lewis is giving us one heart container, but we started off with four. Ooh, the Beholster is something I'd very much like to have. Very much like to have, so we'll, we'll look into getting that. Gotta remember as well, we have Table Tech Rage, which is very important, actually, in these early stages. We can do a lot with that. That's gonna double our damage yet again for nearly three times damage, which, frankly, is quite amazing. We are getting through, seeing a few champions here and there. But this is this is insane. This this pistol with this damage, unprecedented, unprecedented. I say, no one can stand up against me. I see you, bad boy. I'd really like an extra key, please, and also an extraordinary amount of casings would be in order too. I would. I'd be very happy with with a with a very high amount of casings here. Red chest does bode well for us, although red chests have kind of gotten to the point in this game where they kind of scare me now. There's so many wacky modded red chest items that every time I see them, I'm a little bit scared. A little bit scared. I will I will say that. Uh, so, hmm. I don't know. The fact that sanctified oil can be in there, that right there alone, gives me the heebie-jeebies. I do love that item, but my god, does it uh, does it transform a run pretty pretty damn quickly, in fact. Uh, so, it might actually look like we can't even afford the, um, the Beholster, which would be really sad. Uh, I don't know. There's a possibility, depending on, on how we do with, with this boss, how many casings we get from this. Of course, I'm... I'm not guaranteeing, but I will say Flawless is probably quite likely. Even with our boss damage down, our regular damage is really, really high. So our boss damage is still technically up. Or our damage in total is technically up. Um, and as you can see, this pistol does absolute work on him. Even without a gun to, uh, to go with. This is still doing really well. Basically, I didn't open the red chest first because 
We might want to buy a key if we can't afford the holster, but I really do want it. I think it just basically means that every single gun fires out the little beady eyes whenever you finish a reload like the beholster gun does if i remember correctly it's one of never names items it's a cool idea i like the little beadies they definitely help out and yeah i really do want it i think it'll make a a pretty significant mark on this run although i don't know how the inherent damage so let's see if we get enough casings we need six casings that'll do it and we also got what seems to be a new gun which i haven't seen before the Blast Master fires low-range projectiles. That's all it really says. Um, okay. Okay, cool. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with our health right now. I'm happy with a lot of things right now. This run's going well, and we'll buy ourselves this thing here. We'll open up this red chest and see what tomfoolery get. Chaos Bullets is super nice to get. I'm very happy with that. And let's uh, let's keep on going. I'm, I'm really happy with this run so far. We're starting off with three never-named items. Three, which is very surprising and unusual, but I'm very, very happy with it. <laughs> Three never named items doesn't happen very often. When it does, I can I can be excited. I can be excited about it. So let's see how this gun performs. It is only C T and it says low range projectiles. So I'm gonna imagine Yeah, it's very low range. Gonna imagine it's not great. Uh, with Chaos Bullets, it'll probably be a little bit better, though. But the damage seems substantial. And, I mean, our damage is being heavily augmented right now by the fact that we have um, a massive damage up. So we can't get a, a truly reliable read on the damage output here. But so far, it seems pretty good. And I'm, I'm very happy to, uh, to get this. The cool gun. I like it. I think it's pretty interesting. It's also kind of hard to see how the gun normally functions when we've got um, Chaos Bullets. We don't know what bullets it's firing at different sizes or whether it's part of the gun itself or it's part of chaos bullets. I'm going to imagine it's part of chaos bullets and it just fires normal, regular bullets for the most part. That's probably going to be um, our our dude, the big grenade dude guy. What the hell is he called? Why have I completely forgotten his name? I should really be trying to empty our magazines because otherwise it doesn't spawn the uh, BDs. Potion of Gun Friendship, I would like, but that's definitely going to be worse than Lewis in this situation for us, I would imagine. As you can see, we're spawning BDs at the end of every magazine here. But very, very nice. Getting the key drops here is really nice. More ammo is even better. Another brown chest, surprisingly. Another brown chest. So we're probably going to have to use another gun, depending on if it is this dude. Fusilier, it is. Uh, it's going to be very hard for us to hit this dude with, uh, with that pistol, so... When we can, we will. But I don't think it's going to be super often that we get the chance to use that. When he gets close like this and when he's slowing down. Oh boy, it's useful. Wow, that bullet was going to hit me there. Thank God I killed him just in time and got rid of all the bullets on the screen. Uh, a map here is pretty nice. Getting ourselves the secret room shown. Uh, it's just some ammo, so it's nothing major. And we do only have a, a blue chest, so the chest qualities aren't really holding up for us here. But we already got a red chest, so I'm not super distraught about getting some lower tier chests here. And my god, we just keep getting ammo. The game give lots and lots of ammo. Hey, BD. Here's your brother. Here is your brother. God damn, our speed right now is carrying us so hard. It's crazy how much, like, speed can affect you. If you get to the point where it's too much, then it can be a big negative, but we're at, like, the sweet spot of speed. I think over 7 but under 10 is, like, the perfect amount of speed to have. And it allows you to get over some gaps that you would otherwise think that you can't. I'm going to get in the middle here, yeah. I think that's wise. With this gun, we kind of want to be um, anticipating spawns. And getting up close and personal when possible. More ammo. Wow. I call this only one, so I'm surprised we're getting as much ammo as we are. Very surprised. We'll definitely be opening this blue chest pretty much straight away. If it's a, um, a gun, then the other chest I will open as a brown chest for items. Because there are some good D tier items, especially with the, the mods that we have on. There's some good ones that you can find as part of some of the mod packs that I know of, so I'd be looking for some of those. So let's crack this bad boy open. It is an item, unfortunately, and not only that, it's an active two, so it's... 
relatively worthless, so we'll, we'll open up this chest instead over here, rather than the brown chest. See what we get out of this. A good night piece, I'm very happy to have. We can definitely work with a good night piece. Um, and the shop, I didn't really take a, a proper look in the shop. Um, I think we're just going to buy the key for now and stick with that. And our boss, really depending on what it is, depends on how well, how effectively we can use this gun. I'm going to say that we're not going to be able to use this gun super effectively. Oh my good golly gosh. Um, we just destroyed one of those turrets in like 0.1 of a second somehow. Wow. I know that those turrets actually got um, a health reduction, I think across the board with Unstable Strafes pack. So they do die in like... 0.1 of a second now, and oh my god, do I have the itchiest nerves of all time. During Ammo Conda game. Really? During Ammo Conda. Good. We got through that. I didn't think that was going to happen. I was a little worried. I'll admit. But it went okay. And we got ourselves a Mimic. We also got ourselves a lovely little um, sticky crossbow, which unfortunately isn't too ammo efficient, but is still a good gun. And we also got ourselves a Col as well, which certainly helps. We'll probably use the sticky crossbow for a little bit here going forward. In fact, it's not going to really benefit too much from our um, our increased damage, so it might not be the best idea. Um, and I will open this brown chest, even though, yeah, it's likely to not be great, but it did still give us a key back, so I can't complain too much. Head down to the next floor. This is going to end up being pr a pretty speedy run, to be honest. Head getting through both of those floors in sub nine minutes is i wouldn't say it's unusual but it is fairly fast it's it's it's, it's got a pretty good pace to it considering we went to every room as well but this this is shaping up to be a very fun little run we've got going on here the only problem i would say right now is we don't have any star guns like our damage is carrying us way more than the actual guns we have is which is a problem um so we'll we'll see about that we shall see about that but this thing's like, this thing's just crazy right now. I know for a fact that it shouldn't be anywhere near as good as it actually is for us right now. This is a, a nightmare fueled room that I, that I hate and probably created myself. I don't actually know who created that room. It might be me. It might be someone else. I'm not going to take credit for it just in case. But one more grenade boy sounds to be over here. Nice. Our beady took care of him. But like, look at this. This is just like... Absolute annihilation. Okay, I did step on a mushroom there. It's not a big problem. In fact, it could have helped. It didn't, but it could have done. Cola there. Yeah, this is this is leading to some real speedy rooms right here. Some real speedy rooms. Look at this. I feel like there's a mimic nearby. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so this, I think, it reduces our health until we get a certain amount of kills, and then it gives us extra fire rate, I think. Oh, I got stuck on the damn table. Actually, let's flip that table. We have Table Tech Rage. We should have been flipping tables this whole damn time. This whole damn time, we should have been flipping tables. I completely forgot about it, I'm not going to lie. Got ourselves a raccoon, which... Honestly, isn't super useful, but could prove to be later. Okay, we'll open that up straight away. I'm very happy with that, especially to get it early. The more, the more we do rooms without getting hit, the more consecutive rooms we do without getting hit, the more room rewards we're going to end up getting. Very valuable. Um, the unicorn horn there. It's got some value. It's got some value. Um, I think I'll probably take it, even, even with the curse that's attached to it. We don't have too much curse yet. And of course, we can take some good old Monchi Monchies right here. So let's, um, we can't even afford it yet. Let's, uh, let's, let's do like another three Monchies on our Vampiric Booty Moncher. And after that, we should have enough money to kind of do what we want, enough health left over, and also the gun that we want. I'm happy with that. That's probably going to be our boss killer for now then. I don't know why this happens sometimes. The mushrooms seem to maybe glitch out. Like they just did there, where they just all line up and spawn in a row. I can't tell if that's a bug, or if it's just random luck of the draw generation of how it's worked. Sometimes it just happens like that. I'm sad that I flipped that table a little too early there. A little preemptively. Ow. I kind of had a feeling he was going to hit me. I, yeah, hit me again. I felt the lag spike hit as he was coming towards me. 
I knew from that point on that I was ruined. Oh my god, the lag spikes are getting me hard today. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I have an item that's causing some issues. We do indeed have a cursed door, which is a very, very nice thing to have under the circumstances. Um, wow, I don't know what any of these are. Uh, a true blank... The ballot? Okay, we got some good stuff here. We got some good stuff here. Potion of a gun swiftness. Graceful goop. I think that means goop does more damage, maybe. Um, the imp's horn. The, I can't tell. One of these looks like it could be an active item, and I can't tell which one. Um, and I really don't want to end up buying an active item, especially not for, um, not for curse. Either way, let's buy this effigy. Sounds cool. Effigy of the Chaos God. A guarding effigy of the Chaos God himself protects the carrier of the effigy in dangerous situations. Absolutely no idea what that does. Absolutely no idea. We'll take that as well. Um, I would probably like the true blank, but like I said, we can't hold it. And the blue balloon is is nice too. So maybe we'll maybe we'll see if we can we can get that. In fact. Let's uh, let's let's go a little harder on on this, shall we? Do we, uh, do we have any health lying around on this floor? It's quite possible that we do. Uh, no, not not that I can see of right now. Let's hop back in here. Let's buy the balloon. Balloons are cutie, and let's go and do this. Hello, good sir. They got one of them. Chaos bullets could genuinely screw us here, so we've got to be careful of that. It could fire off a shot that, that has weird projectile speeds and all that sort of stuff. Okay, let's uh, line this up right. I think that's about right. You dastardly devil. Got him. That one had piercing. We got a red chest at least, and we got the gun bow, which is debatable to, to how good it is. I think it's it's decent. I, I really don't think it's as good as it is its tier. I think it could be a tier lower and literally no one would complain. Ow. Okay. So it looks like it spawns a black hole upon us getting hit. Which genuinely seems very, very useful. I'm pretty happy with that. Health is a little touchy right now. I actually can't believe how much my nose is itching right now. It's genuinely horrible this is a this is a true a true one i love the face melter that's great for us anything that fires out a lot of bullets is also going to be like a real contender for um chaos bullets too going to really help out with how chaos bullets work so like you may be, you may be thinking did you just say that this gun isn't very good? Look at it just destroy everything. You are right. It is completely wrecking house right now. But what you got to remember is it only has 60 ammo. And it doesn't really do this against bosses. And you kind of think it would. It kind of merely does okay against bosses. Yeah. i to keep going. Periodically itch my itchy nose because I'm recording and my brain... Knows it. Knows it. Get it? My brain knows it and it's like, hey, hey, hey you. You there making a video. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Funny itchy nose. It's not itched all day, but how about now? That'd be funny, right? And I'm like, no brain. Stop. Why you like this? You know, it'd be even funnier, brain says, if I made it itch right now while you're having this very conversation. And seemingly, there is absolutely no earthly reason as to why it itches. Oh, okay, okay. I get you. I, I, I dig it. I dig it. You're just being annoying for being annoying's sake. Ah, yes. It's, it's incredibly, incredibly terrible right now. Oh, my God. I'm just so acutely aware of how awful it is. Did I, did I get hit there or did my balloon pop? I actually can't tell. Good thing about this boss is we can basically place the, um, because he follows us, we can basically place the amp under his little tersey wursies. And he will take substantial damage. Substantial damage. I'm going to blank this just because. There we go. Good, 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 good. Hey, and we got this dude, Mr. Fahrenheit. Uh, I'll take ammo for this. 
Oh ho! That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. So we've gone a little over the, the speed I was hoping for. Right now, this is going to make some lag. I think this is all that Mr. Fahrenheit does. By the way, the sprite work on Mr. Fahrenheit is great. Um, there's no stopping you. 200 degrees. I love the reference. Lots of never named items today. And guns. Lots of them. I'm happy. I'm happy. Happy to show them all off. Hopefully there's a few other of his new guns that we'll get along the way. There's definitely a few out there that I really like the look of and would love to see. Some, like, old-timey type weapons that he's been making recently. Um, let's just Unicorn Horn it since we don't really have a use for this anymore. We kind of had a use case for it and it's kind of gone. So now we're just going to use it for whatever. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da, da. But yeah, Mr. Fahrenheit is going to be relatively useful. Not the most useful thing in the world, I don't think, but... Getting fire everywhere, it's never hurt anyone. Lighting literally everything you know and love on fire, it's never hurt anyone. As history goes, fire isn't dangerous, for the most part. You'd have to be a real idiot to get set on fire. Controversial opinion, I know. But it's true. The balloon. Every time the balloon pops, the game's like, shit, calculating, calculating, and just like freezes for a second. It's funny. This actually isn't making the game lag like at all, really. I thought I'd make the game like bug the hell out with the amount of fire that's everywhere, but it seems fine. It seems to be handling it with grace. I do love the tunes. Okay, we're starting to get some jammed enemies now. Shouldn't make a difference to us. Especially when they're slowed. Haha. -ha. Oh my god, we didn't even get through the song. Spend ammo slower so I can hear the whole song. Rolling eye. Really nothing special. Nothing to write home about in the slightest. Doesn't really make any impact on our run, to be honest. I wouldn't say. Oh no, it's all out. Back to this bad boy. There's more? Hello, sir. And we found our boss. Lovely. I always flip a table if we can. With the amount of speed we have, we're able to carry the table flip buffs into rooms that are just miles away, which is great. And double damage buffs. They go a long way. They do a lot for us. They allow us to clear rooms quite literally twice as fast. Oh my god, my other nostril is going for it now. It's time. It's time. And my body knows it. There is a chest in here, which is mighty lovely. Literally light his entire shop on fire and is like, yeah, that's chill. Yeah, that's chill, man. You do you. Medkit, I'd love. But, sadly, Lewis is my city. Medkit will not help us. It would have done last floor. We could have vampired the hell out of it. That would have been great. But, sadly, we do not have that option today. We do not have that option today. That's the first black hole we've seen in a while. That's a really cool item. It's really basic, and it's not too inventive. But I, I, I really genuinely love it as a concept. It's just sim it's just nice and simple. It's, it's like the Beholster that we're using right now that spawns the BDs. It's simple. It's not it's not too crazy of an idea. But I like it a lot. It just implements something that Gungeon was already doing in a cool way. Which is what a lot of Gungeon passive items do. If you look at it, you've got things like Orbital Bullets, which are just copying other guns. Predator. Yes, Predator's a great room clearer. Hello, man in the grate. Right, um, I still think Squiggy Diggity Do is our best bet here.
That is some that is some damage right there. I will say that for sure. Wow, this is some crazy damage. This gun's so good. I used to underrate this gun like so much, and I I have no real idea why. It's it's genuinely incredible for both room clearing and boss killing. Primarily boss killing though. Getting two keys here is just fantastic. And honestly, the Magnum, I quite love the Magnum. Let's head down here, and this is. One speedy boy of a run. One speedy boy. Very happy with the with the fastness, the legitness. This very run that I have in the palm of my hand right now. Things are going quite lovely in this run specifically. In real life, however, I'm joking. Things are chill, but work is stressful as hell. So I'm chilling with some Gungeon, and also recording it because I quite literally have to, because it goes out in just a few hours. <laughs> I have no choice. But I do want to play it, though. It's not like I'm being forced to play it. Not like my my former self has a gun to my future self's head. I do want to play it. This Magnum is popping the heck off, and I love it. Oh my god. Well, okay, hello. He was just on fire. Okay, so that we we figured out one small problem, I'd say, with um with the design of this black hole, um not with this black hole, this fire, Mr. Fahrenheit. It places fire everywhere, meaning fire enemies and enemies similarly colored to fire or enemies on fire blend into said fire. Oh hello, Cinegrace. I mean, I'm not gonna go to you yet because I don't see the point, but it's good to know that you exist. The hell's this? What the heck? A shrine of chance. Chance it. You got nothing. You lose. <laughs> okay, I chanced it. First time I've seen that new shrine. Cool to see some new shrines going out. I excuse me, game. Excuse me. I've never understood why these guys can't be pushed into pits and they just, like, reform on the land. It's very weird. Very odd, peculiar behavior. Right, uh, Predator's going out now. Predator's going to do us... A great job. It's a very strong item, and with this damage up, it's gonna one shot most basic enemies, two shot the rest, I'd say. Does fire a bit slow, but we can get past that. Hello. Ooh, what the hell is this? The constructor. I want it. I want it. I want it that way. I love the fire with the amount of speed we have right now. It's hilarious. Yeet, yeet. Ow, that hit me. Ah, what the hell was that? A key. Okay, we'll get stolen at least. Thank you for the key. Not that I need it, but thank you any anyways. We, we might get a random chest drop, you never know. Wow, that's a spooker's room. That is a spooker's room. The rooms are going quick right now. I just realized I'm dumb. We can steal. How much chaos do we have right now? Only 4.5. Let's go and steal the Constructor. We have to empty our magazine, don't we? Gimme, gimme. I don't know what it does, but I think I know what it does. Now, I think I remember using it before. I think I remember it being very, very good. Okay, it just laid a proximity mine upon killing that enemy, which is pretty cool. Seems to fire nails sometimes. No, it fires nails all the time. Like, bright orange or yellow nails. Okay, I really like this. I'm guessing this is S tier. I didn't actually look at how much it costs, so it's hard to know if it's S tier or not. Ow. I got hit by nothing, apparently. So it seems to not do an absurd amount of damage, but it... It does what it does. It constructs things, which is really cool. The idea for this item is awesome. I really like it. Seems fairly low percent, but that makes sense. Seems even better with Chaos Balls with things like piercing and stuff happening every now and again. And the dueling laser, which looks very similar to the constructor, actually. The constructor looks like a, a thin dueling laser, sort of a slim down dueling laser, which is interesting. If 
Very interesting. Right. We are doing pretty well, I'd say. Things are going pretty good. It's not constructed anything in ages. What's... Oh, there you go. Proximity mine. Yeah, it definitely seems to be a low percent chance. The shot that actually constructs things seems to be a different shape, unless that's just something that's happening with, um... With chaos bullets every now and again. And we got... The recycle order. We don't need that. We don't need the recycle order. Oh, I am so dumb. For some reason, I was like, I've got rat boots. It doesn't matter. I don't have rat boots. Give me a synergy. A cool one. Oh, don't. I mean, there's plenty of tables in bullet hell, so I'm pretty happy with that nonetheless. Um... I think Constructor mixed with the Face Melt is going to be our, our plan here. So we'll Construct and see what we get. Face Melt for things like that. I just want to get a, um, a portable turret out there. If we get a portable turret out there, this would be, like, really worthwhile. Doesn't seem to be really wanting to Construct much, though. So let's let's just get on this train and do, do the crazy damage. A good thing as well is you can put the amp near the enemy and then get really far away. And it doesn't matter if you don't hit because you know that the amp is hitting at least. Okay, when we've got all of these shots on screen as well, it does start to lag a little bit, but I can deal with it. I think I don't even think I'll get to fire this. No, I won't. Cool. And this is almost perfectly placed for the heart. It's about right, I think. But dodging with this much speed is always a problem. It's often how I get hit on the dragon fight if my speed or my dodge roll is different than normal. There you go. That should be it. Nice and easy. I, I would have thought so. I would have thought so. Nice and easy does it. Nice and easy does it. Ooh, do, 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 do. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that last round. And we go flying here. Flying. Flying. Weird how some areas show the fire on the floor here and others don't. I don't know about that. Uh, we're coming down here with not a whole hell of a lot. In terms of, like, like chance of getting chests and stuff. But, health is good. Ammo's pretty good. We've got ammo in most all of our guns. And there's actually quite a few guns in our repertoire that we haven't really even used. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap back to this bad boy. We have, I was just about to say, we've lost a lot of speed. I don't actually think that's the case now looking at it. I think what's happened is there's a Mimic nearby. Well, this room is a nightmare. Oh my god, this room is just evil. Okay, we can't use this gun. It's too low range. Um, Yeah, gotta, gotta say... Not a huge fan of this one. Not a huge fan of that one at all. That room, this room's dumb, and I don't like it. <laughs> Gotta admit, I'm sorry. Okay, so we found ourselves this. I hate that when you flip a table and it automatically makes you shoot. Yeah, things are getting a little spicy up in here. A little more than spicy, actually. We managed to charm this chest. I think... Nope, it's just pink. It's a champion. You've lied to me. Um, do you know how I said about ammo looking pretty good and health looking pretty good? I'm starting to think that maybe I was lied to. Okay, that actually gave us a gun. I actually managed to get one there, so I'm pretty happy about that. That was that that actually worked. I know I've left a gun in there, but I don't really care about it. It's the snowballer. Tell someone that gives a damn. 
Did one of these get replaced by a Nitro? That's great. Hey, a key. You carry on exploding. What's going on with all these chests and such? Okay, that's really nice to have. Heck Blaster. Shotgun full of hair. Just as a, a way to de-jam the enemies that are jammed. Should we need to? Sometimes we get a few problematic or high HP enemies that are jammed. And... Oh, no. We don't have enough for the boss to be jammed either. So, we, can, we don't have to worry about that at least. I was going to say that that's a big problem. But we don't actually have to worry about that. Which is real nice. But I don't know what's going on with the rooms today. I'm getting lucky with some chests. There you go. Saved us a tiny bit of ammo. Oh, hello. Wouldn't it be cool if the programmed it, if Nibirino programmed it so that the um the what the hell is it called the Heck Blaster also de-championed enemies too? That'd be kind of cool. Probably too much work for a very minuscule feature that no one will notice, but it'd be cool. Ah. Luckily, whenever we take damage, we basically ensure that we won't take damage again. Because, <laughs> well, at least for that wave, because everything in the room gets just yeeted into non-existence. What's left? That's a, that's a really cool concept for a room. I like that a lot. Like, you have to deal with all of them. I actually managed to kill, uh, unjam him with the projectiles before everything else got to him, which is kind of funny. Okay, we're getting a lot of health here, which is really good. Again, tables here. Lots of them. Lots of the custom rooms include a lot of tables, making our life a whole hell of a lot easier. Okay, well, things are going a, a little bit crazy here, I have to admit. Like, the entire room's been in slow motion for pretty much the duration, and things are getting real scary. There's just more. There's always more. Also, I'm not quite sure why, but it seemed like I was enraged from Table Tech Rage for, for just infinite there. It just never stopped. That room was kind of cool, but I can imagine if I wasn't in the situation I'm in right now, I'd hate it. I feel that in all the room packs that are available currently, which admittedly isn't a lot, Bullet Hell is, is where most of my problems arise. But it's always like a two-way street of some of my favorite rooms, like the rooms I like the most are here. But also some of the rooms I hate the most are also here. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword where... Sometimes I see the rooms I love, sometimes I see the rooms I hate. But that kind of makes Bullet Hell more worth going to than regular. Even if I genuinely dislike seeing the rooms, it at least makes it tougher and makes me have to deal with rooms I'm uncomfortable dealing with. It, I think it's, I think it's okay in, in terms of some des design philosophy. It's okay to purposely annoy the player. As long as it's not like malicious annoyance and they're not, they're not like raging at the game because of it. Like that right there. <laughs> I will say that does make me rage. Um, as long as it's not that type of rage, then I think it works. Also, our health has gotten admittedly a lot lower than I was hoping. So we have to be very careful of that. Also, can we talk about the fact that I don't have a poison immunity and Mr. Fahrenheit has basically just given me poison immunity? Because effectively, it's doing the sponge's job for all of the goop other than fire. And what? I can't see anything because of Mr. Fahrenheit here. All the bullets just blend in. Guna or Gona, should I say? I think Gona's just the game, isn't this? Guna, yeah. Ah, yes. Evil incarnate. I genuinely don't know how that hit me then. I tend to disagree that that's what happened there. We've got a key there for some reason. Okay, these are the last few rooms. I reckon it's going to be this way. Oh, I. This is a very cool room. It's, it looks really janky because of the doors. But as the doors open, it gives the uh, it gives the dude a path to move out from his confined, and then another one spawns. Okay, I'm the the the, the, the design of this room is very cool. It looks janky, I'll admit, but it plays very interesting.
use, use of bells on this floor seems to be a little excessive. Not a problem, though. I'm just gonna blank this out because this room's a nightmare. Okay, health is admittedly far lower than I was hoping it'd be. Uh, let's get that going and... Yeah. Did that hit me? No, it hit the balloon. It's okay then. Okay, I'm not even focusing on these dudes right now. Probably not the best idea, especially with the horrible lag that's going on right now. Literally the only reason I got hit there was because of how much the game has started to lag. It's getting kind of insane. Um, Constructor. Plus, what's the other gun that we want to use? This one. No. Yeah, there you go. I'm good, I'm good. Don't know how good Constructor's going to be against bosses, really. The, the, the damage per pellet doesn't, like, per bullet, doesn't seem to be that high. So uh, it might not end up being the good, the best idea. Oh, no. It seems to be, it seems to be more than adequate. Wow. That bounced then. How lucky. Nice. Okay, that worked out really well. What is going on under our feet right now? Ooh, the rain of fire then. Weird to know that the falling animation isn't actually you falling. It's just you've been moved down the screen. Okay. Let's, uh, I don't know, we'll use this thing. Seems like it could be good. Never really understood. Oh, having him slowed here is so good. I've never really understood why in this attack they have that bit at the bottom that you can just sit down at. Really kind of ruins that attack pattern quite a lot. Get rid of that really quick. And you are Dunzo, boy. Dunzo. Didn't end up getting anywhere near as close as it looked like it was going to. Either way, I knew that run was going to be a good one. And we have come across some, some huge success there. Lots of modded stuff to see. Very enjoyable run. I hope you guys did enjoy yourselves. It was... Like I said, quite a fun one. I, I always love it when we get like a new batch of modded items to view. And there was a lot of new ones there. A lot of new new ones that we hadn't really played with before. Always love to see it. The mod impunity is still gr growing and going strong. And Hutz has been playing some modded content recently, which is even better because even more people seeing modding means more people get into it. More people are playing, more people creating mods, all that sort of stuff. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.